What is good, you guys? Today is another great, well, it's tonight. Bolo! Tonight is another great night for a tutorial. I want to go ahead and get this tutorial done because in the morning I have to leave to go to New York for a pretty big label meeting with a very big label, very major label. So I want to get this tutorial done before I leave out of town. So this tutorial is basically something that you guys have been asking me and that is what settings do I use to export my beats out of Beatmaker 3 before I put them into another program. Um, this should be very quick. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And also, I'm gonna show you guys how I export individual tracks out of Beatmaker 3 so that you can get it on your actual laptop or your computer so you can mix it. You can mix in Beatmaker 3, which I'm gonna make another video about that because I just got those new Fab Filter plugins. That's gonna be crazy. If you're like me, as of right now, I'm using my laptop to mix out of Beatmaker 3 because it just sounds a little bit better right now it will get better i'm very sure of that and you still can get really good mixes out of beatmaker 3 don't get it twisted you can get really good mix out of it i'm just used to doing it on my laptop without me talking so much let's just go ahead and get to the tutorial and as always please like please subscribe please comment and please hit that bell and please turn on those post notifications so you will know the next time i have another video available let's go ahead and get to tutorial right now Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I export my files out of Beatmaker 3. This should be very simple. Um, I have a beat pulled up that I made the other day. Pretty dope beat. I think it's kind of cool. Up-tempo beat. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to export it now. So what we need to do is, if you don't see the export button, just look for this right here on the side. Just click on that, and it'll take you to where, you says, where, to where it says uh, New, Save, and Export. So we're going to go to Export. And uh, as you can see, it's showing bar one uh, for the song and it says duration four bars. Now, if you just did like a quick four, eight bar loop, you can actually export it just doing the loop. But what we're gonna do in this situation is we're gonna export stems of the song. So I'm gonna select song. And as you can see, the duration turns to 104 bars. Next thing that I do is I keep it on wave 24 bit turn normalize off because I don't need them to turn up sounds that are too low. I like it exactly how I mixed it. Okay, before I hit start export, I go to tracks, I select all the tracks. So I select all, and then I take off the auxiliaries. I personally take off the auxiliaries because I don't need them because I don't use auxiliaries on my tracks. And most cases I turn the main out off because um, I already usually like do a bounce of the track before I do stems. So I'm gonna turn that off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit start export. So it's gonna start exporting. And when it gets done, it will save a copy of all the tracks and everything inside of Beatmaker 3 into the export uh, folder. So now that that's done, we have two options. We can either leave it inside here or we can save this and share it with another program and what i usually like to do is i like to share it to a program called audio share so i'm going to share this and as you can see it gives me options to where i could share this uh file at which is dropbox email message all that good stuff even my documents app but i like to copy it to um, audio share the reason why i like to copy it to audio share is because it's just better to keep track of everything. Um, the GUI on it is very like simple and I can just find everything I need and it's easy for me to share these files through this app than to actually share it through Beatmaker 3. Even though it is a way to share it through Beatmaker 3, it's much easier to share files using the Audio Share app. So I click on that and it's gonna ask me, do I wanna extract the contents of the zip file? I select no because I wanna keep it as a zip and as you can see right here i had one saved already but as you can see i have mine right here and it's showing 261 megabytes so now from here i can click on this and open up this and it'll make its own folder with everything in it or i can leave it as a zip i'm going to leave it as a zip right now so now if i want to share this file i can just go into my audio share app and as you can see, everything is laid out on the side. It's very simple to see, and it's a very easy process to share this. 
So now what I can do is I can click share and then now I can share this through AirDrop. If there's another computer uh, by, I can just AirDrop it or I can send it through Dropbox, mail. I can do whatever I want to do. I can save it um, into my files on my iPad and use everything that's available to me through this one app. So as you can see, it's very simple. I can actually save this to my files, my iCloud. I can save this um, through my message, my mail, Dropbox, or I can even airdrop it if there's an available computer that is um, compatible with my iPad, which makes things a lot simpler, especially when you're in sessions, um, then you need to get files very fast. So I can do all of that through this app and it just makes things so much easier. So as you can see, this is how I export my tracks out of Beatmaker 3. It's not very hard. And I do recommend everybody who is doing music on the iPad to get audio share. It's not only for Beatmaker 3, but it could be used in so many ways to keep all your stuff organized. And that way you can export things, move things, and it won't be difficult to do it. So that's how I do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, hope you guys make some dope beats.